What's up, witches and Morlocks? Puma Fist here. Beautiful Wednesday afternoon here in Florida. Uh, doesn't look like we got any rain coming. That's a good thing. Of course, it'll probably happen in about an hour. Like it always does, but for right now, it's really pretty. So anyway, I'm going to make an unpopular video uh, right now. Um, I saw some uh, a couple of uh, live streams and saw some other people talking about the situation that's going on with this Liam Gray guy. Now, for the record, I still don't fucking really know who this guy is or why fucking CG is obsessed with him. I mean, I guess he got mad at them at some point. They used to be friends or something. And then uh, they started fucking mocking him or whatever, and that's just become... He's become the, uh, the punching bag for CG. Okay. Um... Well, here's my two cents on the situation. I, I saw some uh, some streams where people were talking about, well, CG uh, basically, you know, kind of bullied uh, him into the point where he's like uh, wrote a suicide note. Now he's like checked into a hospital. Uh, all right. First of all, being the adult here. <laughs> All right, if you, if, you, if you do know that somebody is, like, mentally unstable, it's generally not a good idea to push them. However, uh, the flip side of this is, if you're a person that's on YouTube, uh, you know, and you're putting yourself out there in the public, you, ex you have to expect that people are not going to like you and that there's going to be pushback. And that they're going to fucking mock you and do all kinds of stuff to irritate you online, right? Now, as long as it stays online, I mean, that's all fair game. Liam knew what he was doing when he got on and started making YouTube videos. Hey, he's an adult. Don't take, the, don't take that agency away from him. He knew that there was a risk for that. Uh, you know, and, and CG, like I said, they should know better than picking on somebody who's got, uh, fucking, uh, uh, you know, something going on psychologically. Don't, don't fuck with that person. Don't push him over the edge. But at the end of the day, CG's not responsible for what Liam Gray does. So if Liam Gray wants to get on the internet and fight with these guys, and then they push back on him and humiliate him, uh, and, and then he gets bummed out and wants to kill himself, you can't blame CG for that. As much as I hate to say it, uh, that's just the way it works. You know what? I don't want to live in a world where if I tell Ethan Van Skyver to take a long walk off a short pier, and he does, that I'm somehow fucking responsible for that. That's, that, that's not the world I want to live in. Uh, especially when you're online. Everybody knows that online is a fucking shit show. Everybody knows that Twitter is a place where people do nothing but fucking shit talk each other. So... In, in, this, <laughs> in this situation, i got to defend CG. Uh, you, you can't blame them for the actions of Liam Gray. Uh, did they push him over the edge? Maybe. But Liam Gray allowed that to happen. All he had to do was log off. He's an adult with agency. Don't take his agency away. If he didn't want to put up with it, he could just ignore it like Doug Ernst does. What did Doug Ernst do when, when CG was giving him shit? He just blocked them all and kept on doing his own thing. It hasn't slowed him down a bit. So, like I said, I know this is going to be unpopular with some people that I know. Uh, but really, really, honestly, I, I got I to gotta throw the ball in, uh, in the court for uh, uh, CG here. You can't blame them, uh, even though they're fucking pricks. They're fucking assholes. You can't blame them for what Liam Gray does, okay? That's, a, that's just not a fair standard to set, and I don't think anybody wants to live in that world. You know, you tell your boss to go fuck himself, and the next thing you know, he's in his office trying to shove his dick up his ass, falls over and breaks his neck, right? Now that's your fucking fault because you told him to go fuck himself and he actually tried it? Yeah. Let's not live in that world, people. You want to talk shit? We'll talk shit. You want to talk smack all fucking day long on Twitter, YouTube, whatever? That's cool. You know, don't go after people in real life. The internet's not real life. I'm not saying dox people or try to get them fired from their jobs or do anything like that. No real world consequences. But if you're fucking with somebody on the internet, that's fair game. You're on the internet, they're on the internet. You want to fuck with somebody? Go for it. They want to fuck with you back? They, they're more than welcome to. That's how I feel about it. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Am I wrong here? Is my opinion wrong? Should people be held responsible? Uh, for things that they say that may lead somebody to do something else? 
or does everybody have their own agency and they're responsible for their own actions? Let me know. Puma Fist out.